the GX53 light bulb. The story goes is that I installed four of these downstairs in the room. Now part of that room was the cavity where the bulbs were to be mounted was only 70 mils, about two and three quarter inches deep and I didn't really want to use a um, GU10 downlight. At the time the uh, downlights were typically just your 50 watt variety, they were quite hot. LEDs had just come out and I was looking for an alternative. So I chose these. They are quite skinny, they fit in quite well, these are only 9 watt fluoros, low powered, not much heat and they were a perfect solution. However, the other day one decided to die, so I needed to buy another one. Looking around a few, few of the shops I uh, found they were about 20 bucks each, a little bit expensive. But then I had a look on eBay and I saw these ones. These are just over five bucks. The LED, uh, the only three watts, and I thought, well, I might as well give this a go. Again, I was a bit worried about whether they're going to be as good as um, the cheap eBay versions, the only one third the power, the LED technology, which is different from the fluoros, but one quarter of the price and. So we'll just have a look at this and see whether it's worthwhile buying a GX53 LED eBay 3 watt lamp. So let's have a closer look at the bulbs themselves. The fluoro is definitely a heavier bulb. It's probably four times as heavier. It has an opaque or semi-opaque uh, cover where this is a see-through. Uh, this one, as I say, was 9 watts for the fluoro, 3 watts for the LED. There's 60 LEDs in here. Uh, the LED used is the 3528. There's another one I saw on eBay, which I wasn't sure to get, which was the 4 watt 5050 25 LED variety. The other thing to note is the thickness of the bulb, the uh, LED is definitely skinnier, probably there is 5mm difference and when you mount these in it does make a difference being a skinnier bulb. So let's have a look. Okay so in the ceiling here I have uh, the original fluor on the left and on the right I have the new LED. The first thing I noticed was when I turned the, light, the lights on, there was a difference in how they start up. The uh, LED comes straight on, the um, fluoro takes a, a small moment to start up. You also notice that the fluoros tend to have uh, a few minutes where they warm up and the colour changes just a little. What I decided to do was Stop taking the video of the lights, it wasn't really working out too well. I've taken a few stills and you can see the differences between the two bulbs. The fluoro is actually a deeper light and that's why the surrounds of the light fitting are more dominant on the fluoro version than the LED version. I would have to say that the fluoro is almost twice as bright as the LED, but the LED being a very white light tends to work quite well. The other thing is that there is another version, the 50-50-25 4 watt LED bulb. So if you're a bit concerned about the amount of light you're getting, I'll definitely go up to that next bulb. But it's questionable, again, whether that will provide you with the same amount of light as the fluoro.